Cherie, what are you doing? Vroom! You better stop or you're going to crash and hurt yourself. Nah, uh Vroom! Whoa! <laughs> Told you, but you didn't want to listen to me. Uh, ow. Well, I mean, it was fun. Are you okay? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. My leg hurts. It doesn't feel too good. Okay, M kids. Why don't you go ahead and praise God while I try and help Shiri fix her leg? Welcome back, M Kids. Yes, welcome back, M Kids. And don't ever try what I just did at home or anywhere else. It's not very safe. Well, maybe you should have stopped when I told you to. You're right. If I had obeyed what you said, then I wouldn't have hurt my leg. Exactly, Shri. Do you know that's our story for today? What? Hurting your leg? No, silly obeying your parents and it's our new series on cars cars whoa my favorite thing hey Nadine what's your favorite car I'm not sure uh, maybe a Porsche that's all mine is the fastest car in the world it's lightning McQueen that's not a car isn't he a person no he's not but Luckily, I have a video of how fast the car is. You check this out. Tire pressure is excellent. He's got plenty of fuel. And he's awesome. Real guy. There's a new cat in town. He's got high paid friends. He thinks he's gonna change his degree. You think he knows? Did you see that, Nadine? Yeah, I did. That was very fast. But if that was me, I probably would have crashed. Yes, because you don't listen when someone tells you to stop. Well, I'm listening now, okay? You know, M kids, this is what our story is about today. Obeying your parents. It's quite a short story and it's found in Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 3. Can you read it fast, Shiri? Sure. If I remember, Ephesians 6 
verse 1 to 3. Children, obey your parents the way the Lord wants. This is the right thing to do. The command says, Honor your father and mother. This is the first command that has a promise with it. The promise is, Then everything will be well with you and you will have a long life on earth. Well done. Do you also know where a similar verse is found in the Bible? Yeah, I know. It's found in Exodus as one of the Ten Commandments. You know, Shri and M kids, honoring our parents is so important to God. That's why He included it in the Ten Commandments. As a matter of fact, it's number five on the list. And God has a good reason for asking us to honor them. God gave us parents to raise us. He gave us mums and dads to teach us how to do everything from walking and eating to praising God. Mums and dads have a huge responsibility and the best way to honor them is to obey them. Because obedience is more than doing what we're told, it's doing what we're told quickly. When mom and dad call, God wants us to jump. He doesn't want us to leave them hanging. He wants us to lend a hand and do it cheerfully. Shri, do you remember the last time your parents asked you to do something? Uh, yeah, I do. Did you listen? No, because mom asked me to stop racing and I didn't. Then I crashed. See, Shri, didn't listen the first time. She ignored them. Do you listen? Or ignore your parents, kids. Maybe you thought you had a good reason. Like me. I know I thought I did. Like I just wanted to be a racer. Like Lightning McQueen, the car. Maybe you were watching a movie or even reading a book. Or maybe even lying on your bed and you just didn't want to go at that moment. Those excuses don't work with God. God wants us to show our parents the love and respect that they deserve. That means putting a bookmark in that page of your most favorite book that you're reading or pausing the movie even at the most interesting part and jumping out of bed into action. Also, we must remember that God wants us to be cheerful about it. We shouldn't whine or grumble or point out that it should be our brother or sister's turn to help. In fact, if you see something that needs to be done, before mom and dad ask, go do it. God wants us to serve our parents as if we are serving Him with love and cheerfulness. You're right, Shri. Because, M kids, your parents do so much for you. They have been there since long before you were born. They were there for every milestone. They were there through every illness. They will continue to be there for you as you grow up. When you think about it, responding quickly to their call for help is a small way of saying thank you for all they have done. You know, Nadine, race cars are the fastest on the road. God wants us to be just like that. Vroom! At our fastest when mom and dad call. Don't tell them to wait. Don't just say, one second mom. And don't ignore them. Jump into action and lend a cheerful hand. It's simple. Now let's say today's memory verse together so that we remember what the Lord says about obeying our parents. Exodus 20 verse 12. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Nadi in Shuri, please come cut the grass. Coming, Dad! Bye, M kids. We've got to go and jump into action. Until next time, bye! bye. I'll meet you there.